Hello everyone, uh, Lee JT512 here. Now you may have seen, this is going to be a quick video, uh, you may have seen these on my channel before. These are um, autograph cards and also prop cards. Now um, you can get these, I have only gotten these from eBay and I, I believe they're genuine, I believe they're authentic. Um, they have all the usual trademarks and stuff, um, so if you're going to fake them I don't think these trademarks and stuff would be here and so by art box so I believe these are genuine uh, autograph cards prop cards etc so uh, you've seen these three before uh, this is Georgina Leonis who plays Katie Bell uh, this is a just an autograph card you can get it's in a plastic container that came with it um, I don't believe these plastic containers come with all of them you'll see why in a second and also this one here is a uh, upside down. This one is Slughorn's office. This one is, uh, I have to be careful because it's reflecting with the camera. This is Slughorn's office and it's a piece of fabric that is from the wall covering. If I turn it around it will tell you. Um, this Harry Potter prop card contains authentic prop material used in the film Half-Blood Prince. Slughorn's office wall covering and it's made by the same people that do the autograph cards. I can only imagine that they take some um, props off of the studio and sell them. Uh, this is numbered, sorry about the shake, the shine. It's numbered here, 283 out of 330. So they basically took this piece of, I don't know what it would be, um, wallpaper or something, a uh, drape or something, cut it into hundreds of different pieces, put it in a card and uh, made, it, made it available for collectors because they knew people like me would go crazy for parts of props, not even whole props parts of props. So this next one here is uh, a part of Hermione's jumper. Uh, this is about the costume and this is authentic costume material worn by Emma Watson in the Half-Blood Prince. I like Half-Blood Prince, I like that film. So this is, wow, very shiny, very reflective. <laughs> and this is 152 out of 330. So basically I can only assume they just took that jumper there and ripped it to shreds <laughs> a couple hundred to uh, put in hundreds of cards. Um, I I don't know how these work, I'll be honest. If anybody has more information, because I, don't, I haven't done too much research into these. Um, they, I know for a fact, I've seen some prop cards that have pieces of the Philosopher's Stone in there, the actual Philosopher's Stone. I don't know if that's shards from a replica or something, but there's a little window like this with a part of the Philosopher's Stone inside of it. And I don't know if... Because I've seen the Philosopher's Stone in the studio tour, it's there. I don't know if that's a replica. I don't know where the original one is from the movie. I, I, I assumed it would be at the tour. But they've also got these numerous copies of replicas um, in these cards like this. They, they are there. You can buy it. It's going for hundreds of pounds as well on eBay. Cards with little pieces of Philosopher's Stone in there for hundreds of pounds. And I don't know how genuine they are. I don't know if it's from the movie because I would assume they would like to keep that. Uh, at the tour. So I don't know how it works. But anyway, that's those three. I have two more. I bought two more from eBay. And because I like uh, Half-Blood Prince, uh, you'll see, again, no sleeve. Uh, no sleeve like this. These just came on their own. So this one first. This is a lot less reflective. This is Slughorn. Um, it's a costume card. It's a piece of Slughorn's costume. And it was worn by Jim Broadbent uh, in Half-Blood Prince. And this is number 31 out of 580. So this is a piece of his robe or cloak or something. They tend to put these pictures at the top here to indicate what points of the movie it's from or what location or what character. Um, looking at this and then looking at that, I can't tell where it's from. I can only assume it's from a suit. So this is that one. And then we also have this one. This is a part of Igor Karkarov's coat. Now, I imagine with coats like this, they probably did. Uh, they probably didn't think they were going to keep it, so they just took the coat, cut it up a bit, <laughs> and then put it on. And you can actually feel it. It's the proper coat, so you can actually feel it. And on the back, here we go. So this is a, well, 850 cards for this. 850 cards with this little piece of coat in it. Uh, yeah, so in the Goblet of Fire. It was worn in the Goblet of Fire. So, and all of the cards are made by the same company. I can only imagine they have a good relationship with the studio Leavesden and they take, I don't know if they would take copies or they would take extra because I know 
in, say, for example, The Deathly Hallows Part 2, Harry's jacket, uh, in, the, in the studio tour, they have at least four different versions, maybe more, of Harry's jacket, because it goes from the start of the battle to the end of the battle with different variations of damage. So I know they make costumes, I, make, I know they make multiple copies of the costumes, I know they make multiple copies of sets and stuff, um, but I don't know how these cards work. So that's why I've always been a bit apprehensive about going for them. There are a lot of these cards, by the way, a lot of different versions of these cards. You can get uh, paper props. I like the paper props, like Daily Profits and stuff. You get you can get those. You can get um, parts of broomsticks. You can get uh, different, different autographs as well, more like autographs like these. Um, I would have a look on eBay for yourself. There are a lot of them around. And these are just some. You've seen these three before on a video I did years ago, I think. But I thought I would get two more. I got these two more. And I would I would have I would advise getting some. They're nice little mementos of, if nothing else, but don't spend hundreds of pounds on them. <laughs> I don't believe they're worth that much for what possibly might be copies, I'm not sure. Um I don't think they're the like if you buy a card with the Philosopher's Stone in it, I don't think it's the actual Philosopher's Stone from the movie. I could be wrong though. Um I always assumed the actual Philosopher's Stone would be at the studio tour. But then again, you get Noble Collection making replicas, you don't know what you're getting nowadays. Um, but these seem genuine. These uh, prop cards, autograph cards, costume cards, they all seem genuine. Um, so I would advise going for a lot of these cards I have gotten from the Half-Blood Prince. There's at least four of them. This is the only one I don't have that's from Half-Blood Prince. Uh, yeah, so... I would advise going for all these. And it's not just Half-Blood Prince, you can get ones from other films like Prisoner of Azkaban. I'm sure I saw something to do with uh, werewolf hair or something that they took from the, Lu the Lupin costume for the werewolf. I've seen a few of these, a few of those, and I've seen a few of like bits of fur and bits of wand wood and stuff like that. So have a look. Um, I would advise going for it. The only reason this is a small video is because my loot crate hasn't arrived. And they sent it out very, very late, so I hope to have that to you guys soon. You'll know what it is by now. You've probably seen other videos with it in it, so I'm not even sure if I'm going to do a video on that because I think it's January's crate and it's still not here. So who knows, but people have been complaining that it's getting late uh, arriving to them. So I hope to have that out to you guys soon. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a look at these on eBay. There are quite a lot of them. Um, have a look. But again, don't. I spent not too much money on these, probably £10.00 each on, on these maybe. Don't spend hundreds of pounds on these because you don't know if you're getting a small fragment of a replica or the actual thing. With small things like this, I I'd imagine more so it's the actual thing because they probably just made one of them. Who knows? I don't know for sure. But um, these are obviously, the autograph cards are good. They probably go for a lot of money at autograph cards. Um, especially, I think I did see a lot of autograph cards from people like Michael Gambon who played Dumbledore. Uh, David Thielus, who played Lupin, there are a lot of autograph cards you can go for. These, again, from the set, they rebuild the set all the time. <laughs> I think they rebuild the set quite a lot. So you probably have a few of these, but uh, costume cards and stuff like that. You never really know what you're getting. Um, but that's very good value, these kind of ones anyway, but you can get some very expensive ones. Okay, that's going to be it from me, guys. That was a, that was meant to be only like five minutes, but that's I've gone over again. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.